Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home RTH 6580WF Smart Thermostat. And we're going to be covering the setup menu and how to configure it and show you how to get to it if you don't know how to do that. Now, this thermostat here can be Wi-Fi capable. I don't have it turned on right now, but it is compatible with Google Assistant and Alexa. So if you want that functionality, um, that's something possible with this thermostat. I may go ahead and make a video of that in the future, but I do have other videos on this thermostat covering manual override, factory reset, and fully programming. So let's get into how to set up the, well, I should say, get into the setup menu so you can configure this device properly according to your home. Um, if you got this thing used, or even if you got it brand new, you have, still have to configure it to your particular home and furnace type and uh, cooling system type, etc. What kind, whatever kind of setup you have. So this is very important before you actually use a thermostat um, or do anything with it, if you want to program it or etc. So let's go ahead and access the menu, the, the setup menu by holding down the fan button and the up button. All right, so this here allows you to see the options available now on the, on the left here. And then you can go ahead and change this character here on the right, depending on the setting in the menu. So I'm gonna go over through this booklet what each one means, but I wanted to show you how to get to it first. And it's very simple. And then once you're done making your settings, you can hit done and it'll bring you back to the main display. Now let's get back into it. Hit the fan button and up button and then wait, and then you'll get your setup menu once again. All right, so we have the function number, which is the one on the left, and then we have the setting and option, which is the number on the right. So number one is gonna be select system type. We have zero equals heat or cool, one is heat pump, two is heat only, three is heat only with fan, four is cool only, Five is heat pump. Six is heat cool multiple stages. Seven is heat cool multiple stages. And the difference between here is the way it's wired. So it says two heat stages and two heat stages with a different wiring configuration. So I would definitely take a look at this manual if you um, are setting this up for the first time. But number eight is heat cool multiple stages with one heating stage. Over to number two is heat pump changeover valve for heat pumps only. So we have zero is cooling changeover valve and one heating changeover valve. So like I said, this number here on the left is the number on the left on the screen. This option here is the one on the right. So number three is heating fan control. Zero equals gas or oil heat. One is electric heat. Function number five is gonna be heating cycle rate. And that's uh, the same thing with number six. So number five is heating cycle rate and six is heating cycle rate stage two. So these are going to have the same options on the right hand side. So we have five is gas or oil furnace. Nine is electric furnace. Three is hot water or high efficiency furnace. Number one is going to be gas, oil, steam or gravity system. Function number 12 is manual or auto changeover. Zero is gonna equal manual changeover. One is gonna be automatic changeover. 13 is smart response technology. One is gonna equal on and zero is gonna be equal off. So this here will actually learn how long it takes for your, your room to come up to, up to temperature. So this usually will start the heat early or start the cooling early as well. Some people don't like this because it makes the system run longer and start earlier. So most of the time people will de deactivate this and turn it off, but it will start the system an hour or two ahead 
of time that's scheduled um, in order to like kind of compensate for that time for it to be that exact temperature, if you get what I'm saying. So if that's something you want, um, decide that and go ahead and, and change that over to on or off. Number 14 is temperature format. So zero is Fahrenheit. One is Celsius. 16 is schedule options. One is program schedule is on seven day programmable. And zero is program schedule is off. Thermostat cannot be programmed. So this here, number 16, is if you want to operate it as a complete manual thermostat, non-programmable. You can go ahead and do that and make it the most basic thing ever. Moving along, 36 is device name. And 52 equals thermostat. And then all these other numbers here are just, you can go on from basement, bathroom, blah, blah, blah. Bedroom, bonus room, exercise room, fireplace, gym, etc., kitchen. You can name it accordingly. So take a look at this list. I will show a close-up, uh, but each room type has its own number. All right, so the last half of the menu is going to be 38, which is Wi-Fi on or off. Number one equals Wi-Fi is on, and zero is Wi-Fi is off. 39 is Wi-Fi connection. One is connected to Wi-Fi network. Zero set. Zero is going to be set to zero to disconnect from Wi-Fi network. So if you want to disconnect your Wi-Fi, go ahead and change this setting to zero because otherwise you will say connection failure or you will show the antenna with no signal. So that can be annoying. So if you're not going to use the Wi-Fi function, go ahead and change that to off, which is zero. Next is going to be 42, which shows period and day of week. Zero equals period and day of week are not shown on this home screen. One is equal to period and day are shown on home screen. So I would leave that on one because you want to see the period and the day on the home screen. It just makes sense. So leave that on one. 85 is restore schedule defaults, which is zero continue using program schedule. So the existing schedule that you programmed, you want to keep that or one equals restore thermostat program to energy saving settings. So that's gonna change it to the factory default. So you probably don't want that because they're gonna be not tailored to your liking. So I will leave that on zero and continue programming your device accordingly. 90 is gonna be restore original settings. Zero equals no. One equals disconnect thermostat from Wi-Fi and restore original settings. So this right here is going to completely delete everything off the device when it comes to programming of your schedule, all your parameters. If you set up your Wi-Fi, it's going to remove all that information and you're going to have to redo that all over again. So be very careful. If you don't have to do this, don't do that and go ahead and reset your schedule only, which is 85. But if you want to start from scratch, if you bought the thing used or got it from a friend or eBay, you're going to want to do a factory restore right off the bat. And I have a separate video on how to do this. So that covers everything in detail. I'm just going to give you a close up of everything so you can take a screenshot. Because I know it's tough to see this when I have it as I'm reading it off, but. All right, so one more other thing I want to cover is the error codes. So you might experience this, and I want to go over really quickly what the error codes are. And the error code E01 is going to mean during Wi-Fi setup, the router lost power. E02, invalid Wi-Fi password. And then here we have E42, which is router is not issuing an IP address to the thermostat. E43, no internet connection. Thermostat cannot communicate to total connect comfort. E99 is general error. So that there is a brief summary of the error codes that might come on on this thermostat. So go ahead and check out your manual to fully diagnose this. I'll give you a shot up close. So you can see this 
page in uh, its full entirety. This may be helpful if you're configuring the Wi-Fi and you have some issues. All right, so that there is the thermostat. I just want to go ahead and show you something. So as you see here, we have connection failure and we have the antenna. That's what I was talking about. It can be annoying if you have the Wi-Fi on and um, you have it turned on and not using it. Or if you factory reset the device, it's going to go back to this. All right, so that's going to be it for covering the setup menu. I have, like I said, manual override, programming of the device, and I, I go over factory resetting the device and what it entails and what the details are. Um, so if you want to check those out, those could be helpful to you. Well, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And um, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.